With our weld table complete, it's time to modify this into a very functional welding cart. We're going to start by adding some shelves. So we're going to add a support right in the middle. That's going to do a nice job of uh, giving us a spot to put a shelf that can hold a lot of weight. Ooh, look at that weld. Put a little expanded metal down there. Make sure we weld it into place so it doesn't move anywhere. Now we can put stuff on there. Having shelves is great for putting stuff on it. The most important shelf is going to be this middle shelf, which we measured carefully to make sure that it will perfectly fit our Lincoln 140 MP welder. This will allow us to have some space for some plastic containers full of accessories, squares, and clamps, as well as the bottom shelf having plenty of space to just store the foot pedal for the TIG welder and all the accessories, as well as all the cords. It's time to assemble the fab wing. This is a fantastic accessory. It's a one foot add-on that fits on any side of the table, so we can put it on the front, the back, either side, or we can even mount it vertically. When you mount it vertically, it gives you a huge square, which is so useful for making table legs and things like that where you want to be able to clamp them securely in at least two directions. This is a very convenient and useful accessory because it's easy to move, it's easy to mount, and you can put it anywhere. These things are so much fun to assemble. Honestly, it feels like an adult Lego set that weighs hundreds of pounds. It just welds together so nicely. Everything ends up perfectly square. It's pretty hard to mess up. The fab wing mounts easily with these special collar bolts, a fancy washer, and a nut on the back. You put it where you want it, get it in place, and then it drops nicely into these little slots. It's pretty easy to install. It's pretty easy to move. It's pretty easy to take off. It works well. Let's build a bracket for the back. This is going to be a shelf that allows us to mount our tanks. See, the whole idea of turning this into a weld cart is we have to be able to take our tanks with us. And because this is a multi-process welder, we want to be able to put at least two tanks on it. One for pure argon for TIG welding, and one for an argon CO2 mix for MIG welding. So we need to build a real heavy-duty shelf and mount it on the back in a way that's nice and secure. I mean, we want it to look good, right? So we'll pretty these welds up a little bit while we're at it. Doesn't really matter, but it's got to look good. Here we are using that fab wing as a giant square. See that? Fits on there nice. Makes it real easy to fixture things up. Now let's weld this bracket on the back. We added these brackets on the back. It gives it a lot of support so that that shelf doesn't try to break off. That was a concern. We're trying to put two 80 cubic foot tanks back here and they're pretty heavy. So we're gonna put some, some bars in the bottom, make sure they're nice and square, weld them up nice and secure. And then our expanded metal can sit on top of that. That should work pretty well. Let's weld it down. Now we need to test the weight capacity and balance point of the shelf. Let's see how it does. That'll work. Let's finish off this tabletop. Look at how smooth it is. It's certified flat. That's a fantastic weld cart. I hope you enjoyed our little video and maybe you get inspired to make one yourself. This thing works really, really well. We've had it for about a year now and we've found that oh, it's just such an effective tool. I'm hoping to get another one. Because if I have an additional welder on an additional cart and I need more table space, I could easily bolt two of these weld tables together, giving me a bigger table when I need it and a smaller table when I don't. That's the dream. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed our video. Make sure you do all the things, you know. Have a good day.